All right, I'm on a call, number two. And if you chase me again, I'm gonna put you in jail. Car out here, go, before I run your tag again. I just wanted to make sure because when you stopped. Guys, guys, you need to fucking slow down, okay? Number one, I'm on a call. Number two, and if you chase me again, I'm going to put you in jail. Get your fucking car out of here and go before I run your tag again. Go! Just go now. Extra money in your pocket. It may be the most rewarding to do you do today. All right, now. Did you record that? Start saying 15% or more on your car insurance. Did you record that? Oh, of course I did. Just to brief you what we know, his wife. Was your wife like a TV this morning? Yes. On Fox News. Oh, okay. And he goes, he, he, he Googled the nearest police station to where this happened. She turned up. And this came up? Yeah. Oh. Fox News, it's, the link is right there. Okay. He's here. He wrote a statement. Um, I'm just here to make it. things right. Okay. I, I don't want to be, obviously, I don't want a warrant out for my arrest. I don't want to be a fugitive. Um, I come through Pasco County quite often because I travel. I do road shows. So, obviously, I want to make sure that I'm in a good drink with these guys. Absolutely. Make sure that everything is on the up and up and get this situation handled the correct way. Move the way and obviously, if anything I've done wrong, which I think I have. I want to make sure that I, you know, am either charged for it or not charged for it. And we go from there. I want to make sure well, I do the right and thing. We appreciate your cooperation. Admiral, 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 Admiral. Yes, absolutely. Guys, I mean, I just, I just feel, feel, okay. I feel horrible. I really okay. feel horrible. Well, appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Thanks, man. Thank you very much. Appreciate you entertaining me. Okay. First and foremost, I, I wish you well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. First and foremost, I, we appreciate your cooperation. Okay. Yeah, that's but obviously, at this point, we're, we're kind of at a point where you're not free to go. Yes, I've got to ask you questions. I and I know you did a ride along back in October with Largo. Yes, sir. So um, I know you have an idea of, of what I've, we do I've, and what's I've going got, on. I've got a really good idea of it. And unfortunately, I think that works to my disadvantage. Yeah. And well, before we go any further, though. Also, works yeah. to my disadvantage, which I'm going to sell that. <laughs> okay. But before we go any further, let me read your rights to you so yes, there's no misunderstanding. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer uh, any questions or make any statements. You understand you don't have to talk to me right now if you don't want to. Yes, sir. What I would ask you to do is I'm going to check here that I read that to you. Okay. And I would ask you to print and sign your name if you understand. Absolutely. Just to, yes, sir. Okay. And then we'll talk about the situation. And again, I appreciate your cooperation. Uh, no, it's not I, problem, haven't, I haven't read the the statement, so I'll probably ask you some things that you've already talked to the other guys about and that uh, you've probably already answered, but um, my first question, my first question, uh, how did you know to come here today? Was that Fox News this morning? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, so my wife, I guess, got a phone call from her boss this morning, early. Okay. Hey, you got to watch So I had gone and, you know, doing road shows and stuff, I was out this morning. Uh, running around, I had gone to get gas and did a few other things. Just it was out about early this morning. Came back in. My wife's in the bathroom, and this is. You need to just, you, you, have you seen the news? You see what's going on? Like, I think it was a hurricane. Yeah, hurricane. Yeah, right. I know there's a tropical storm. You know, she was out of the garage. And she shows me this, and I'm like, oh, no. oh my freaking lord, oh, yeah. I said, what were you bringing on? I said, well, that's about the time after you and I got off the phone from our argument when I had stopped at the store in Wesley Chapel on my way home to Largo. Yeah. And that's when all this happened. How long have you been married? Uh, well, if things work out, it's going to be 20 years in October. Okay, good. We've good. been in marriage counseling for a little over three months now. Okay. And... Um, so what, I, what time? So she called you? Or I'm sorry, you yeah. were at the, you were home when that happened. No, no, no. She no, pulled no, you out no, to the garage. No, I, I had gone. Let's backtrack to why I even left the house in the first place. Okay. I had to go to Lakeland. I had done a road show in Lakeland over the weekend. And I left a flag, a call out flag for a product from the store. The store manager called the corporate. The corporate called my boss, and my boss called me and told me to get my tail up to Lakeland and go get that flag out of their store before it closed. Now. 
So I did. Wasn't happy about it because that was on my time and my gas to go do it, but it was my mistake, so I went. And on my way back, <clears throat> I thought, well, I'll just swing into the Wesley Chapel store. I've got a Sam's Club card. I can get gas cheaper. I can say hello to the manager. i got to do that store in a couple weeks anyway. Man, kill a couple birds with one stone. Stopped in, got gas, yeah, left, and then I was just going to meander my way back. I was going to take, you know, Dale Mabry back to, you know, the, to the vet and then come all that way. So I was going to kind of make a loop from, go through Land Lakes and kind of go back that way. Sure. Came over 75, and that's where my statement starts. So I don't okay. know if you had the opportunity to read I, I haven't. No, sir. Okay. But essentially, uh, Corvette came, a white ZR or whatever Corvette came past me at a relatively high rate of speed in the far left-hand lane. And I was in the middle lane, a couple of cars back um, at a stoplight. We came up to a stoplight. So we'd already, this was past 75. We're heading westbound. And... Um, I'm in the middle lane, and we're at a stoplight, and again, I'm a couple cars back. The guy puts his top down, and I notice there's a younger kid, or, you know, a, a young man in the passenger seat. It's drizzling, and this guy just goes. And then, then I did notice, if I'm not mistaken, that he looked up, and I think he gave me a glance as he stomped on it. So he made eye contact with me as he looked back and took off. Now, speed limit, I think, is 55 on that road. Mm -hmm. I lost him. I couldn't, even, I couldn't even begin to keep up with that car. It was gone. Mm -hmm. Freaking gone. With the top and you're, down and you're driving your white Chevy Impala at time. Okay. So I got in behind in, that, in the left lane to go. And I'm like, man, this guy's a freaking clown. What the hell are you doing? You got a kid in the car? You know, and again, my head was clouded about with arguing with my wife. All I could think about was wanting to get home. I was madder than shit about having to go to Lakeland. Here this guy comes blazing past me with total blatant disregard for everyone on the road. I'm in a police looking like vehicle and he basically kind of yeah. like, it was one of those. So I thought, well, screw this guy. So I got in behind him. I put my spotlight on. I flashed my beams. I flashed my lights at him. You said you put your spotlights so you, in your car. I haven't seen your correct. car. Yeah. So you have one of those spotlights correct. that law yes, enforcement or it cabs have. It's a, it's a regular white spotlight. It's okay. not a colored spotlight or anything. Okay. My headlights are xenon. Okay, they have a blue look to them, okay? Okay. Um, I flashed my headlights at him. Okay. Now, whatever, I heard his statement. He said I was flashing red and blue lights at him. I don't have blue lights. I got red and white, but I don't have blue. So there's no red and blue lights on the interior there's dash, no or I don't know if you've seen them where they're up on the visor. There's no. no covered lights other than your headlights with the blue tint. I've got the blue, the blue tinted headlights. Okay. And then I have a deck light, which is red and white, and I have rear lights, which a deck are red light. and white. On the front of the vehicle. It's just, a, it's it's in, it's on the hood. It's inside the vehicle. Inside the vehicle, but on the, on the, in the hood area. Okay, so it literally so inside is, the vehicle. Inside the, the vehicle, deck. it's just a one that's set up on the dash. So okay. when I worked, I say worked, when I volunteered and did stuff for the fire department, mm -hmm. and as you saw, I don't know if you read about me, you know, doing work for the city. Police department, I'm, I've gone out with them, so I know police procedures. I'm on the uh, city commission for, well, the community development board okay. for the city of Largo. I used to do a lot of firefighting and volunteer work, and so I would go out on fire scenes a lot. So I put the lights in my car, so when I park my car, I turn the lights on. The lights are never on when the car is moving. What color are those lights? They're red. Red and, and white. Red and white. Okay. So. And you didn't activate those lights at all? I did. You did. That light. Okay. And about that time, I went, what in the frick am I doing? You okay. dumb son of a bitch. He turned in, I, I turned off, and I, I left. I'm like, oh, shit, what in the hell are you doing? And I, and I left. And he pulled into the neighborhood, and I thought, oh, you dumb mother, you, you just scared the shit out of some guy. And in, in the back of my head, I'm thinking, well, he should have slowed down anyway. I turned around, I headed eastbound, and I was going to turn in. I turned on the next road there. I pulled in to a auto repair shop. I don't know what it was, but I pulled in the back. I was going to call my wife back, start my conversation back up with her. Sure. To try and hopefully smooth things over before I got back home. Here comes that car. He comes flying around the corner. And I don't know if he's got a gun, if he's a felon. I know that he's mad, obviously. And he's coming at me. So I grabbed the first thing I could grab, which was a toy badge. I threw it around my neck. I jumped out of the car, and I came straight at him. 
figured, well, I'm going to scare the shit out of you. He's yelling, you're going to jail, you're going to jail, you asshole. Blah, 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 blah. And I said, no, if you don't get the F out of here, you're going to jail. What are you doing chasing me? You're chasing me. I'm not chasing you. I turned around and left. You're chasing me. Get the F out of here. Did you say anything else to him other than get out? Oh, I never identified myself as a police officer. I never identified myself from any type of law enforcement. Did you tell him you were on any type of call for service or anything? I said I was out on a call, but I didn't say I was out for a call for service. I was on a call for Sam Flip. So I wasn't lying about that. I just didn't say I was out on a call for Sam Flip <laughs> because I literally was out calling on Sam Flip. So yeah, I said that in a fashion that made me sound like I was a law enforcement agent, but I never identified myself as a Pasco Sheriff, Largo PD, Pinellas County, Florida Department of Law Enforcement, any type of law enforcement whatsoever. That was not mentioned, not said. And I know there's audio recording, and you could probably listen to the audio recording to verify. I, yeah, I've I seen that. I've hope hope read that. that I am correct. So if I'm incorrect, my apologies, but from my recollection, from the heat of the moment, from what I remember, I don't recall saying anything about being okay. in law enforcement. Yeah, go ahead. So you said you have these lights in your car. How yes. long have they been in your car? Um, quite a while. I when, mean, when, you since I've had the car, really. did some volunteer work for fire rescue? Yes, sir. When was the last time you did that? Um, active with that? Actively, um, probably last year. Um, Why do you still have the lights in your car? They're wired into the car. They're in there. I mean, I, mean, I can pull I, all that stuff out. Everything was already wired into the car. All I did was just plug into it. My next question. Yes, sir. Why do we have a badge in the car? We have a toy. Why do we have a toy badge in the car? Stupidity. Where'd you get that badge from? Um, I think I got it from a store at C Mall at the airport in Dallas, Texas. What's it say on it? It said, I don't know, I think it said just, just sheriff, deputy, or something like that. It was a plastic five-star, five thing, and it had a little plastic freaking neck thingy. Have you ever had any of these type of incidents happen before? Have you ever had to no, flash I, people out of the way or throw the badge on and make any comments? No. Anything like this ever happened before? No, I have never done anything like this. I, I just, that, this is completely out of my nature. Okay. It was, it was, uh... I was completely furious with, with the conversation with my wife. I was mad at the situation about being on the road in the first place, yeah. driving on my days off, on my day off at night when I should have been home with my kids having dinner, yeah. and this occurred. So essentially, I'm completely at fault. I mean, I, I accelerated the situation. I should have just let the son of a gun go, Yeah. but I couldn't let him go. Um, are the vehicles here, though, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Where is it parked at? Right out right here. Right out. In oh, by pinchers the there? Um, yeah, I guess if you go out and then just, yeah. I mean, it's literally, it's, it's the parking area that's closest to we Oh, so it's not like where the, um, pay to park ones are. You're talking no, about parking? Okay. Yeah, I'm here. The, yeah, I'm here actually at the, at the mall. Okay. Yeah. The mall park. Yes, Do you have any issues with us searching that vehicle? Okay. I'm going to fill out the paperwork here and request your signature, allowing us to do so. Do you have any issue with that? Okay. What year is that vehicle? I have it here. 2012. 2012. Oh. When you say that uh, you travel or visit, what is that For a company called uh, FNS Corp, who's to uh, show shows and samples on the state, so all over the United States. Do you know the tag number of that vehicle off the top of your head? 955FN. Okay, I got the right vehicle. How long have you been doing that? Not long enough. <laughs> I just started. I was unemployed for a while and was doing Uber and anything I could to uh, make ends meet while I was applying for jobs. And hence, that's another reason why my wife and I are where we're at. Because I've been, we've just been at finances. And... Are there any weapons or anything in that in that vehicle? That's not a crime. It's, I yeah. have a gun safe. Uh -huh. And there is an there is a gun in the gun safe. Okay. Okay. There are clips in there that have bullets, but the clip with the gun does not have any bullets in it. And what it is uh, locked? It is in a locked gun safe. And the keys to the locked gun safe are in my glove box, by the way. What uh, kind of firearm is it? 
Uh, it is a star. It's a nine millimeter star, a little five millimeter. I only carry that with me whenever I travel. When I go out of town, I take it with me to the hotel. Absolutely. I keep it not in a box. box at pretty much at all times. It's never out in the vehicle with me. It's always Do you have a permit. I applied for a permit, and I was just talking with the other detective. And the reason it's on hold is because of something that happened in 1992 in California, which was a trespassing uh, and destruction of property. How long ago did you apply for it? Um, and well, it's coming up tomorrow. Is going to be the 90 day mark when when they ex either give it to me or not. But I got a letter from the Department of Agriculture saying on November 6, 1992, yeah. this occurred. So and I went well. I really don't know how or what. Or how, well, I haven't had time to even pursue it. I've been too busy working. I've never helped. And so again, that's another reason I'm so mad. I'm like, God dang, man. I get one for two nights at home a week. Please read this portion up here. Mm -hmm. It's the waiver of search. Basically, I put in there the 2012 Chevrolet Impala with your tag number and the VIN number. And if, again, read what it says. I don't want you to be. Oh, that's fine. And you said the, the red and white light are, are screwed into the dash and wired? Yes. Okay. Are they, are they easily, easily removable? Or oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. Got a wire pulled up. And, and, and you purchased the firearm? It's registered to you? Firearm was purchased, yeah. One. Shop in Dunedin. Yeah, I bought from a from a gun dealer in Dunedin. He's retired. I well, Nathan Winsick is his day. And so okay, is it a key lock box yes. or is it a combination? And you have the key with you? Yes, sir. Do you mind if we go into that as well? I know no, that no, wasn't no. on the form, no, but I just want to be clear. You're okay with us going there? Absolutely. We're not going to find any illegal narcotics, anything like that. It's just a question I ask everybody. No, <laughs> Nowadays with this fentanyl stuff, you breathe in something the wrong way, and you could you can die right there. So it's just a question I ask everybody. Not a problem. Um, Any questions that I can maybe answer for you right now? Well, I mean, how much trouble am I in? I mean, am I going to go to jail well, today, or can I go to work tonight? I mean, what, what, where, where am I at? I mean, that's that's my biggest concern. Well, I've well, gotta, here, here, I got to give my boss an answer on what's going on. Before he answers that, I got a couple more questions that sure. I wanted to kind of ask the year because I to see where we're at. Um, one of the things that me is that have. I, I know you said that you never mentioned that, you know, you were in law enforcement, you were on a call, you said, or something like that. Specifically say, hey, I'm law enforcement, I'm a cop, you know, you know anything like that. No, sir. However, we got a few factors here. What kind of car do you drive? A white Impala. A white Impala, which is commonly known as a, as a cop car. But other people own it, that's fine. Well, let's take that a step farther. Is this a previously owned cop car? Previously owned. Was right. this at one point a cop car? Yes. Okay. It was actually, I think it was a, I think it belonged to Homeland Security, maybe, up in Orlando. So it has a spotlight on it, Okay. Said? Mm -hmm. it's got two spotlights. It's got driver and passenger. Does it have hubcaps, or are they just the black wheels? They're the black wheels. Okay. Um, so uh, from the outside, most people know that it's probably or possibly a, it looks like kind of like a cop car. Oh, absolutely. And you had even mentioned that absolutely. in your statement that at the and, light you and, thought, wow, the guy's driving fast. And from it's a good looking car. Yeah. I accentuate the, 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 the things that make it look nice. Does mm -hmm. it have a cage in it? No. No? Did they take that out? It never had a cage. It never that, that I could see. Some don't. That's what I mean, I can see where I used to have lights up in the top. There's there's screw holes and stuff, and there's wires and shit hanging all over the place. There, I mean, they 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 butchered the shit out. Whoever had it before, well, they they butchered the shit out. They they is, ripped it all apart. Is there a computer in the console area? No. Is well, there a I've computer got, stand? I've, I've got I've got a laptop stand, uh -huh. and I have an iPad. So when I work, I mean, I've got Wi-Fi, so that way I can work. I can do my work in is the your, car. Is your iPad in the car? Mm -hmm. Is there any kind of star on the iPad or star on the on yeah, the? Yeah, yeah, I've got a. Yeah, it's got a. 
Pinellas County, or no, it says Flores Sheriff's Association, I think, on it. On the lap, on the iPad itself, on or iPad. on the stand? On, on the, the iPad. iPad. Yeah, but see, I don't keep the iPad on that screen. That's just the home screen. Whenever I have so it's on the screen, iPad, it's not a sticker. Yeah, it's 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 the actual like the screen saver. Screen saver. So whenever I have it on, I usually have Google Maps on, or Outlook, or something else like that. I'm usually I usually have an app on, so the screens, or I have it off. Okay. But do you have, and you have lights that are mounted there? You said they're red and white. Yes. Okay, and those were previously installed, or did you install them? I installed those. Okay. The wires, there's wiring and everything that was already in the car. Right. But the light pre light itself, you charged right. to put in. Um, and also, you have this toy badge that is in your car. Why are you keeping a toy badge? It's gone. I, I, I tossed that. Thing. I know, but my question is, why did you have a toy badge? Uh, Make myself feel better about myself, I guess. Right. For, for lack of better terms, I, I, I don't know why. Here's the reason I'm asking stupid. Well, Tim and I have been doing this for nearly 20 years. He's 20 years. We both drive unmarked cars. We have less stuff marking ourselves <laughs> as cops than you do. <laughs> and you're laughing, but I mean, ser I'm being serious. I, I don't have a computer stand in my car. I, don't have, I have lights, uh, but you can't see them. Uh, and I don't have a computer that has a star in it. I don't have a badge that I wear around my neck. Uh, this is it. And if I do wear an unmarked shirt like that, it's on my belt like he does with a gun. So if somebody sees the gun, they instantly see the badge. Um, so you can, uh, I can see why somebody's confused. I mean, you have a lot of things there that make you represent being a police officer. Is that your intention when you have all these things? My intention is basically to make the car look good, make myself look better than I really am, I guess. Um, I guess to just make myself feel better about myself. Um, you know, like I said, I've had uh, a real difficult time with my wife. My self-esteem has been in the toilet. I've been unemployed. I'm finally unemployed again. Um, Have I you aspired to be in law enforcement? I wanted to be in law enforcement, yeah. For how long? Um, quite a while. I have bad news. You can't? Uh, have you applied? I can't apply. I, I, I'm too old in oh. my knees. I mean, I could maybe if I wanted to be uh, like a bailiff or something or to work for, you know, um, the jail, but I, I, just, I just don't foresee myself. And plus, my wife kind of talked me out of it at my age. I worked for almost 20 years for her, her family's company. Oh. I lost my job. That was almost three years ago. Oh. Since that point, um, I, my self esteem's really not been a, a real. High, it's been very low. Mm -hmm. This vehicle has been a high point in my life. It makes me feel special. It makes me feel, you know, people look at it and, you know, they slow down. And they, oh, that's a cool looking car, you know. So I thought I would accentuate it, make it look nicer. I always keep it clean. I polish the wheels. I make sure the glass is always clean. I mean, I, I make it look like it just roll off the showroom every day of the week. I spent so way too much to time, <laughs> but uh, but again and again, I spent way too much time on it. But I took a lot of pride in the vehicle because I don't have a whole lot in life anymore. I have my wife and my kids. I'm barely holding on to them. Most of my <laughs> friends I had here in Florida, I lost when I lost my job. When I got my second job here in Florida, I traveled between here and Texas, and that job didn't work out. So the people I worked with there kind of went by the wayside, and I just I don't know. I I just really. That's been kind of been my 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 one thing to cling on to, and it's my it's my pride and joy. And unfortunately, my pride and joy is probably going to go be okay. sold, and I'm going to go drive a Corolla or something. Let me just ask I, you this I about any more problems. about that badge. Did it have markings on it? Did it say anything? Like obviously, the Pasco Sheriff's Office, or Hillsborough uh, Sheriff's Office. It might have said it might have said Deputy Sheriff or something. Do you remember like where you got it? I got it at uh, at the at a mall, well, a shop at the Dallas airport. Okay. And you said you threw it away. Where did you throw that away? I threw it away at a, at a car wash on my way home. On the way home the day of the incident? Yeah. What did you do that for? Because I knew I did something wrong. And I was like, fuck, that was just the stupidest goddamn thing I could have ever done. I mean, I literally, I mean, as soon as I did it, I knew I did something wrong. And so when I pulled in there to call my wife, you know, I was going to, you know, call her, tell her what was going on. I was going to tell her that I did that, obviously. Oh, sure. Because she would have sure. ripped my ass apart, but I should have. And so Wives they, will he, do he that. came up and then it scared, scared me. And I put that thing on. I went, well, you just added insult to injury. So 
just throw that thing away. Just get rid of it so you never do that again. So I basically threw it away so I would never be tempted to even attempt to put it on. Just get rid of the damn thing so there is no temptation to do anything stupid like that ever again. Okay. And again, it was, it was, it was heat of the moment. But it was something that I typically would never, ever, ever so do. So after this incident on the, way, on the way home, you stopped and threw it out? Yeah. Because consciously, I mean, and you read my statement, I knew immediately that I had done something wrong. <laughs> That's why I sit here in front of you guys right now. So okay, I knew I did something uh, wrong. I appreciate your uh, your cooperation in coming to, to meet us. Um, I'll be honest with you. I was at the state attorney's office when I got the call saying you were here, and I was talking to them about the case. I'm glad you you came here. But let me step out. I want to make a phone call, okay. and uh, we'll go from there, basically. Um, Maybe at some point. Is a deputy out there? Yeah. Is he just here? How, I've never even been here. So. No, it's my understanding that uh, Mr. Henson, Henson, correct? Dawson. Dawson. It's okay. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Mr. Dawson I, I here. came here to the office and there was only a customer service. Yeah. And so he That's called to have, been here. Yeah. to have a deputy be here just to make sure that I didn't leave. Well, John, <laughs> I, I really do appreciate your honesty. Uh, it's a, fresh, a breath of fresh air. We don't get a lot of that. Well, you know, I mean, I, I want to do right by law enforcement. I want to see things done right on the roadways. I see terrible things done daily. And, you know, when I see someone like that who purposely endangers a younger person, and I didn't know if it was a son, if it was a buddy, I, mm -hmm. hell, he could have been a he could have been a prostitute. I don't know. I had yeah. no idea who these people were. All I know is that this guy was bound and determined to go as fast as he could in front of me, and he knew I was right behind him. What do you think you could have done, though, differently? Just kept on going. Or even if you wanted to report it. Yeah. Grab a tag number, make yeah. a phone call. Uh, and, and, you know, but, again, I would have had to speed up to get that tag number. So I'll be I already had sped up. I was already behind the guy, and in the heat of the moment, I'm like, screw this guy. I'm going to screw with this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to just totally scare the shit out of him. Gotcha. Then work out so good. All right. Uh, the deputy just going to stand by. Yeah. Um, also, want to snap a picture of like who we talked to? I know you got your DL there, but that's sure. going to stay with you. Yeah, we absolutely. Yeah, that's so, problem. Uh, we'll be right back. Basically, we're going to have our forensics folks come out, take photographs of everything. Okay. Uh, um, and you're going to be charged with impersonating a law enforcement officer. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to, I have to type out some paperwork and I don't bring my computer. I have to get that. Um, I don't know what your bond will be because they'll, they'll set it over there. But um, if you need to make any phone calls to your wife or to whomever, you know, we'll let you do that before we we go. Okay. Um, you said you bought that at an auction? What auction? Yeah, well, it was a place called Florida Auto Mall. How, how long Sunshine have you had the car? Auto Mall. Sunshine Auto Mall? Where's that at? It's in our, uh, Orlando? And, yeah, it's off of the computer. Gotcha. Yeah. And you've had it for a couple years? Uh, I've had it for a little over a year now. Okay. Did you get a good deal on it? Yeah, I got a great deal on it. What'd you pay for it? $6,000. 6000 What's it valued at now? I, I don't know what it's valued at now. Because you put I mean, some work into it. So. Yeah, I put a lot of work into it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, now, so I mean, with the uh, what's going to happen? I mean, because for me to work tonight, I mean, uh, how's that going to? Well, work? I don't. It's three. Stay here, or I mean, what's going to happen? Because I mean, I've got a limited fund to get paid tomorrow. Yeah. Well, be because the vehicle is part of the crime, we are going to more than likely um, seize the vehicle. Um, I'd like to photograph it and. Do whatever video footage we need, and uh, I don't know if we're gonna actually. I shouldn't have said seize it. I don't know if we're gonna seize it at this point. We're gonna certainly impound it as evidence. Um, and I honestly, I don't know the answer yet as far as a seizure um, situation. It, it may very well be done. I don't know yet. I will certainly let you know as soon as possible. What is your wife's name? Would you like me to call her first? Or would well, you prefer... My father -in -law told me to call her. All right, let me see here. He knows you were coming here, your father-in-law? Oh, yeah. You don't have any weapons on you, nothing in the bag? 
Um, you said, and your father-in-law's name is what? I'm sorry. Yes, sir. And what's his phone number? Does he live up this way, or is he down in Largo as well? Okay. Do you have any uh, family friends that live up here in West the Chapel? No. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't want you calling anybody right now. Okay. Um, again, I appreciate your cooperation. Okay. Um, as soon as I have some answers for you, I'll certainly let you know. Okay. Yeah, I just I don't want to lose this job. I, I understand. I've got. What's the name of your What's the name of your company? Oh, somebody and asked that. I've got, okay. got a bunch of stuff in the back of that car that's going to a road show. I was on my way to go to the to the show. What all do you have back there? Tables. Right now, well, that's what I've got. Do you have any food or perishables? No, no perishables. But I've got tables and um, tools and. Um, I think that's pretty much it that I have for the road show in the car right now. But tables and things like that. But I've, but I've set up tonight, and then my show starts tomorrow and runs for four days. Where are you supposed to be? In Brandon. In Brandon. And I use that vehicle to transport everything, and I work out of the vehicle as my office. So for me to lose that vehicle means I'm going to lose my job. Hold on one second. Let me take this, okay? Hey, John. Yes, sir. I know this is taking a while, man. Paperwork and procedure, and I'm sure you saw it on your ride along. Did you guys make any arrests that night when no. you guys were out and about? No, no just no. calls for service? Yeah, we went out. There was a bar fight, and there was, um, there was um, um, a disturbance call, and then there was um, a lady that screamed, but she ended up, she slipped and Nothing fell crazy. and passed out, and she was drunk and passed out in the stairwell. All right. Obviously, your yeah, it does happen. Obviously, your vehicle is evidence that the crime occurred. Okay, and I've also been instructed I am to seize the vehicle. Okay, okay. so we're impounding it for evidence, and then we're seizing it. That's a little bit different than the impound. It's in addition to. We're basically saying you've you've used this vehicle in the commission of a felony. We are now going to take that vehicle from you, and there is a process uh, in which you can try to uh, get possession of that vehicle back. Okay, and it's explained here, and I want to read this to you, and then I'd like for you to sign it. Just it's an acknowledgement that you've been given the paperwork. It's not you're not signing anything over to the sheriff's office. It's just acknowledging that you've been given this notice of seizure form. So as I said, this got the date six twenty first six twenty one. Here's your case number. This is who you are with your address. It's a two thousand twelve Chevy Impala with your tag number and VIN number. Today's date, okay. And this is to advise you that on 621.17, the Pasco Sheriff's Office seized the above listed property for a violation of the Florida Contraband Forfeiture Act, sections 932, 701 through 704, Florida statutes. You are hereby notified that you are entitled by law to request an adversarial preliminary hearing concerning the seizure of this property. You must request this hearing within 15 days, okay? okay of the receipt of this uh, notice of seizure, which is what I'm going to give you today. Okay. In order uh, to set such a hearing, you must make a request in writing by certified mail, return receipt requested to the Pasco Sheriff's Office, 8700 Citizens Drive, okay? Okay. Be sure it goes to that address. Okay. There's a lot of addresses, as you know, for Pasco Sheriff's yes, Office. But make sure it goes to that address in Newport Ritchie, uh, Florida 34654. You must attach a copy of this notice with your request. The Pasco Sheriff's Legal Office will see will set the hearing hearing on your behalf and notify you of the time, date, and place of the hearing. Please note that the post-seizure adversarial hearing is a non-mandatory and uh, need not request a hearing to later contest the action uh, taken against the property uh, described here with them. Which is, uh, each claimant will be given the opportunity to appear in court before that final disposition. Okay, so it step-by-step step tells you on here what you need to do to file to get your vehicle back. Okay. And again, this is not a, you're not signing anything over to the sheriff's office. This is just uh, your, your acknowledgement that we are seizing the vehicle. And we'll get we'll get moving here in this process here shortly shortly hopefully okay. Am I gonna be able to move tonight? Uh, that it all depends on you know what the the jail sets the bond at and going through that process. I don't know uh, you know how long that may take, uh, but you'll be able to start working on that once we get there. That's why I'm trying to get you out of here as soon as we can. Okay. 
Hey, John. Um, I'm getting called and more information is coming in. Um, keeping your Miranda rights in, in mind, you know. Remember I told you before you had the right to remain silent and all that. Do you still understand those rights? Okay. This never happened in Pinellas County or this never happened in Hillsborough County? Apparently there are police reports out there that you may have been driving erratically or putting lights on. I don't have the reports, obviously, so I can't be um, no, exact I, about I any, had, anything uh, in particular. I had the Pinellas County Sheriff's Department come to my house to leave a note, uh -huh. a new car, about a year ago. Okay. And said that I someone said that I was driving erratically. They didn't charge me with anything. They came, okay. they looked at my car, they took pictures of it. Okay. That's all that ever came of it. Okay. Nothing in Hillsborough County? No, sir. No reports that you know about out there? And I think you talked to Detective Fichtemeyer about the badge. You said you threw it away in a yes. car lot or garbage or a car wash, yeah, I'm I sorry? I threw it away in a car wash on my way out. You remember which car wash? I don't know the name of it. It was off of Keene Road. I know that. Off of Keene? Yeah. And that's in where? I'm not familiar with Keene. In Pinellas? Yeah. Okay, but you don't know the name of it? Okay. Sun and Shine or something like that. I'm sorry? 10, 12, what, 100? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Um, okay. But nothing ever in Hillsborough County. I'm being told about a report possibly Hill, Hillsborough County or Tampa Police Department. I'm not sure which agency, but nothing in Hillsborough County where you were driving erratically or putting lights on or anything to, of that nature? No. Okay. The only thing you recall is about a year ago, Pinellas County came to your house yeah. about driving erratically? No. They or was said it? That, no, they, they said that uh, someone said that I had uh, was following them too closely and that they thought that I was... Uh, and driving in an intimidating way like a police officer and they got my license number and they sent it into the sheriff's department and they came out hey okay yeah what's going on no i have he doesn't know where his key is Yeah, there's, I don't necessarily agree, but he's got to tow it to the garage, not to property evidence, to the garage, and then I'll work later and try to get forensics to come out and take the video and photographs. I don't know how we're going to do anything without a key, though, in terms of, uh, yeah, I don't, know. I don't know, but I'm with him now, so, and I've got to make some changes yeah yeah okay all right thanks thank you yeah no i hear it